What is going on you guys? It's your boy Alex West Collects here bringing you another figure review. Today we're taking a look at AEW Unrivaled Series 4 Santana and Ortiz. These figures are now available at ringsidecollectibles.com. As always use code for life to save 10% off for your order at checkout. I'm very excited to have these two in hand. Proud and powerful. Uh, they do look great. You get a ton of accessories. Um, they look pretty damn good in the box. You get the images of each uh, wrestler on the front. On the side, you get the AW logo. On the other side, you get the images of each wrestler and the figure number. On the back, you get the awesome uh, artwork as well as the other figures in the wave. We're going to come back and get these figures out of the packaging. So here we have Santana and Ortiz out of the packaging. And these guys look so damn good. But I am a little upset, and let me tell you what I did. I am a freaking idiot. So Santana came with a, a Puerto Rican flag packaged inside the box, and I threw out the box and did not realize I did not take the flag out. I'm so pissed, which means I'm going to have to get another Santana just to complete it. But, man, that's freaking annoying. So don't be an idiot like I was. Take the flag out, man, because that does suck. These guys came with so many accessories. I didn't even realize, but whatever. Enough with that rant. Let's get to these figures because they are so damn good. So let's start off with Santana. Obviously, accessory-wise, he comes loaded. So let's start with the head. You get the head with the flag molded on, and he's got the eye patch. So both figures actually do come with a molded bandana. I'm sure we'll be getting a ton more of these guys down the road. So I'm okay with that. They both have the bandana molded onto the head. Not a problem. They look freaking good. I mean, if you want to take a quick peek at both... I mean, which one do you guys like better? I think they're both good, but I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna look with this, go with this one on my display. He just looks so menacing. Uh, other accessories comes with, comes with the trigger hands. He's pointing the gun at you. Very nice, great detail. I like that. Jazzer has included that, and he comes with that loaded sock. Got some nice detail. The tube sock got the open at the end. Uh, whatever it was filled with. So that's a nice accessory. And again, he come he came with that cloth flag, which we already spoke about, and I don't want to get into it. Um, but looking at the figure itself, you get the nice tattoo on the chest. More tattoo detail on his arms. I mean, look at that head again. So good, man. Their first real, I mean, action figures. You know, it's great to have some first time in the line, guys. I mean, you have Sammy Guevara and... Uh, Proud and powerful as well. So good. Um, Taking a look, he comes with the overalls as well. So that if you really did not want that on there, you can pop off the torso and just remove them. I do love that feature that these parts really just pop off real easy. And I even love the black uh, on this guy. Like his kick pads, his pants, it just looks so good. So clean, even for an all-black figure. On um, the, the tights design... Looks very good. He comes with the elbow pad. And if you want a closer look at the overalls, that's how they do look. Some nice gold on the front, black in the back, and we'll get it back on the figure. Just looks so clean. And now getting to Ortiz, also comes with a nice ton of accessories. So you get the slipper. I'm not even going to try to pronounce what it's really called, but you get the slipper. Very cool. Um, obviously, you get the back scratching hands before we get to the actual figure. Take a look at those. Nice detail. I do like that these guys came with some different hands, not just some open or closed ones. He also does come with two different gloved hands, so you get the black one and the one with the Puerto Rican flag logo. Looks very good. You get another head. You get the big afro, or you get the braids, man. I don't know. These look both look great. I like that this is so different and unique, but I mean, I think I'm going to keep the, the bandana to match Santana on my display, but man, you can't go wrong. They did a great job. Uh, he has the inner circle shirt on, as you can see right there. Some more tat details on his arm. Plain black on the back. Take a look at how beautiful that molded bandana goes across his head. And if you want to see what the other head looks like, we'll pop that off. And, oh, push that in. Make sure it's in. Okay. I'm having a little trouble with this peg. 
There we go. Not too bad. This looks great, man. Like I said, you can't go wrong with the designs. Same overalls. Again, if you'd like to pop them off, just take off the torso. This one's kind of, it has a nice flag molded in there with it. Again, some nice detail in the back. You guys want to see what it looks like without them? Just some plain black uh, pants. He's got the nice toe shoes, man. That's just some nice detailing. Really did a good job, man. And real quick, I just want to swap out the head and the accessories, uh, the other hands on Santana, so you get an idea of what the trigger fingers and the eye patch uh, head sculpt looks like on the figure itself. And as well as with Ortiz, I did swap out the gloved hands to give him the back scratching hands. Looks very nice. Let's come back and do some comparison. So Santana and Ortiz, obviously one of the top tag teams in AEW. Only makes sense to throw them in there and take a look at how the Young Bucks stand up against them. And if you want to look at another tag team, of course, we got the Lucha Bros. Lucha Brothers in there with Santana and Ortiz. They look great. I mean, some real toyetic looking figures. And of course, how could we forget the Inner Circle? We got Sammy. MJF and the man himself a little bit of the bubble like Chris Jericho kind of see how all these figures stand in together great to kind of complete a stable we still need Jack Hager and obviously Wardlow so some final thoughts obviously the first ever Santana Ortiz figures we're getting uh, definitely highly recommend them they come with some great accessories some great detail they look really good um, these figures are now available at ringsidecollectibles.com. As always, use code for life to save 10% off of your order at checkout. Please like, comment, and share this video. Uh, as always, follow me on Instagram at AlexWestCollects. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more great content. Thanks for checking out this review, and take care.